Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. I can't believe that we're already at the end of 2020. This year has certainly been a wild ride, to say the very least, but I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that watches my videos. Accessible Art History has given me an outlet to share my passion and that has helped me get through this crazy year. As 2020 wraps up, I thought it would be interesting to talk about five amazing archaeological discoveries. Despite the obstacles, there were some incredible finds this year. It's important to note that I chose only five out of the dozens that occurred. I found a great list of the rest that I've linked down below. Make sure to check it out after you watch the video. So, without further ado, to learn more about these particular discoveries, then keep on watching. Saqqara was one of the most important sites in ancient Egypt. It served as the necropolis, or city of the dead, for the capital city of Memphis. In addition, Saqqara is also the location of the first Egyptian pyramid. It was constructed in a step design for Pharaoh Djoser by the architect Imhotep. This was during the Old Kingdom period in approximately 2600 BCE. Saqqara was used continuously through the Greco-Roman period for about 3,000 years total. This year, an area known as the Area of Sacred Animals yielded over 100 wooden sarcophagi. They are brilliantly painted and still sealed. This is extremely unusual as grave robbing was a common occurrence throughout history. Egyptologists estimated that they are from the 26th dynasty, around 688 to 525 BCE. In addition to the sarcophagi, dozens of statues of Ta Soker Osiris and a bronze sculpture of the lotus god Nefertum was also found. This find is incredibly rich and will teach historians and archaeologists a vast amount of information about a time long ago. This next discovery isn't linked to one specific site, but I thought that it was so important to the discipline that I just had to include it. For decades, it has been the wish of archaeologists to be able to carbon date pottery. Pot shards are some of the most common items found during digs, so they are useful for gleaning information about time periods, local diets, artistic traditions, etc. But science hadn't quite caught up in, with this idea until very recently. Traditionally, pot shards are dated using surrounding evidence that can be concretely dated. But now, thanks to biogeochemist Richard Evershed of the University of Bristol, they can be used to date themselves. He developed a technique where the organic material left on the pots, such as animal fat, can be removed and then tested using radiocarbon techniques. This has absolutely changed the game as pot shards are found all around the world. It has the potential to teach us so much about ancient cultures. Another amazing find that shook the archaeological field this year occurred in the Amazon rainforest. It's in a section located in Colombia, and it's difficult to reach. But the trek was well worth it. Archaeologists found thousands of rock paintings, Stretching for over eight miles, the tens of thousands of works have been heralded as, quote, the Sistine Chapel of the Amazon by the press. Painted of red ochre are images of hands, geometric designs, and long extinct animals. Some of them are so high up the cliff face, they can only be studied with drones. This find has the potential to teach us about prehistoric cultures of the Amazon. Preliminary dating is at about 12,500 years ago, based on the animals featured. Mammoths and giant sloths have been found in the fossil record up until that point, for example. The global pandemic has temporarily stopped research, but maybe next year's post will have an update. Stonehenge is, in my opinion, archaeology's greatest source for conspiracy theories. I mean, how do prehistoric people move those massive stones? Well, I'm sorry to say the mystery hasn't 100% been solved yet, but this year, archaeologists did make some headway. They discovered that 50 of the 52 sarsen stones came from a site about 15 miles away in the West Woods, just on the edge of modern-day Marlboro. A core of one of the stones that was taken in the 1950s was examined using destructive methods. This allowed geologists and archaeologists to compare it to other stone samples from the area. They were shocked to find an exact match in the stones of the West Woods. On average, these stones weigh 44,000 pounds and stand at a remarkable 23 feet tall. This would have taken a tremendous amount of effort to move across the landscape. This points to the importance of Stonehenge as the prehistoric people who built it were willing to deplete calories to construct it. This year, archaeologists discovered this petite statue of a bird. It measures at only half an inch high and three quarters of an inch long and was found at the Lingjing site in China. This adorable sculpture has been dated to around 13,500 years ago, making it the oldest work of art discovered in East Asia. Closer examination has led archaeologists to believe that this represents one of the numerous species of songbird that inhabit China to this day. The beak and tail are carved carefully, speaking to the level of craftsmanship that existed in ancient Chinese society. These details are what led the statue to be classified as a work of art, a subjective label. 
Each of these five finds helped us to better understand our past. I tried to pick sites and discoveries from all over the world to represent how humans have always felt the need to create and comprehend the world around them. Make sure to check out the longer list of finds that I linked in the description box below. I can't wait to see what next year holds. Mm -hmm.